here are the Friday the 13th Part 3 kills ranked point-wise. So, um, uh, the categories are for how bloody the kill is, how believable the kill is, how creative the kill is, how surprising the kill is, and how scary the kill is. And each category can get from 0 to 5 points. So, let's get started. Uh, a few of these kills are tied. So, uh, so at number 9, here are two kills that are tied. And that's Fox and Loco. Fox gets a pitchfork through the neck. Zero points for how bloody it is. You'd think there would be blood, but there's not. Uh, five points for how believable it is, because pitchfork through the neck, yeah, that should kill her. Zero points for both how creative and surprising it is. It's not that it's not creative, it's not surprising. Uh, one point for how scary it is. And she is tied with Loco, Pitchfork through, the, through his stomach. Um, uh, zero points for how bloody it is. Again, you don't see blood. Five points for how believable it is. Uh, zero points for both how creative and surprising it is. Not creative, not surprising. One point for how scary it is. So Fox and Loco both come out to a total of six points at number nine. Number eight is Edna, stabbed in the back. Uh, stabbed through the back, uh, like through her head or something. Um, one point for how bloody it is. There's some blood. Five points for how believable it is, because, uh, of course, that would kill her. Zero points for how creative and surprising it is. She's an opening kill. Uh, the movie kind of opens up on her, and uh, it's just a stabbing. One point for how creative it is. So Edna comes out to a total of seven points at number eight. Number seven is... Debbie and Chili. Uh, Debbie gets stabbed through the back. Uh, one point for how bloody it is. Five points for how believable it is. Zero points for how creative it is. One point for both how surprising and scary it is. Not that surprising. Not that scary. She's tied with uh, Chili. Uh, impaled with a hot fire poker. <laughs> Zero points for how bloody it is. Surprisingly, there's no blood. Five points for how believable it is, and then one point for how creative, surprising, and scary it is. So, Debbie and Chili both come out to a total of eight points at number seven. Number six is Chuck. He gets electrocuted. Zero points for how bloody it is, because there's no blood. Five points for how believable it is, because, yeah, getting electrocuted, uh, that would, uh, that, that would kill him. Uh... Uh, one point for how creative and surprising uh, it is. Um, uh, it's not that creative because we're going to see this kill a lot more in this franchise. And uh, it's just not that surprising. Two points for how scary it is. Kind of scary. So Chuck comes out to a total of nine points at number six. Number five is both Harold and uh, Shelly. Harold gets a cleaver to the chest. Um... Five points, or one point for how bloody it is, there's some blood. Five points, that's what I mean. Five points for how believable it is, because Cleaver of the Chest, that'll kill him. One point for how creative it is, not that creative. Two points for how surprising it is, opening kill, not that surprising. One point for how scary it is, just not that scary. Knee is tied with Shelly. Um... Two points for how, uh, oh, he gets a throat slit. Uh, two points for how bloody it is, uh, kind of bloody. Five points for how believable it is, because, uh, of course, that would kill him. One point in all for how creative, surprising, and how scary it is. Um, it's not that creative, not that surprising, not that scary. So, Harold and Shelly both come out to a total of ten points at number five. Number four is Vera. Uh, spear in the eye. Two points for how bloody it is. Pretty bloody. Five points for how believable it is. Of course, that would kill her. Spear in the eye. Uh, two points for how creative it is. Not that creative. It's just a spear being shot into her eye. Um, one point for how surprising and scary it is. Not that surprising that she dies. And it's just not that scary of a kill. So Vera comes out to a total of 11 points at uh, number four. Number three is Andy. Uh, he gets chopped in half <clears throat> with uh, by Jason's machete down uh, when he's doing a handstand. Two points for how bloody it is. Kind of bloody. Five points for how believable it is. Uh, two points for how creative it is. Kind of creative. 
Uh, one point for how surprising he is. Again, he's kind of a nothing character, so he's just it's just not that surprising that he dies. And two points for how scary it is. It's kind of scary. So Andy comes out to a total of 12 points at number three. Number two is Rick. <clears throat> um, this was actually my favorite kill of the movie, but now it's only at number two. He gets his head squeezed. Uh, one point for how bloody it is. Uh, surprisingly, there's not a lot of blood when there should have been. Uh, and if it would have had a lot more blood, uh, this would have definitely gotten up to number one, and it probably could have gotten onto the top 13 kills of the franchise. But instead, it's only one. Five points for how believable it is. Of course, I would kill him because uh, his eye pops out. Three points for how creative it is. Pretty creative. Two points for how surprising it is. Uh, it's not that surprising um, that he dies. And then two points for how scary it is. It's kind of scary. So Rick comes out to a total of 13 points at number two. But the number one best most pointed Friday the 13th Part 3 kill is Ali. Um, last kill of the movie. Um, he gets his uh, hand cut off and then hacked by Jason. But it's pretty much just the hand cut off. Two points for how bloody it is. It's kind of bloody. Five points for how believable it is. Hand cut off. Yeah, of course he would die from that. Two points for how creative it is. Uh, it's not that creative. Just getting a hand cut off. Three points for how surprising it is. Uh, it was very surprising because uh, you see him come back and then you think, oh, he's actually going to uh, stay for the finale, but no, he just dies. Uh, and then two points for how scary it is. It was pretty scary. So Ali comes out to a total of 14 points uh, as the number one best most pointed Friday the 13th Part 3 kill. Thanks for watching.